Department, the Blanchester Police Department, and the Clinton County Sheriff's Office. My alarm went off and I looked on like Snapchat and I was like, school, and I was like, there's no school. My on normal weeks, that would be a welcome surprise for Jenica Puller, but this is spirit week at Wilmington schools. Today's school closures left students disappointed and confused. Because we have spirit week this week and homecomings this week, so I was like, oh, okay, so there's no school, like why? Why is there no school? The district decided to close all Wilmington schools today after a concerned parent contacted police. She said she overheard her child talking about social media threats that were directed at Wilmington High School. Police say the threats may be related to a shooting last week on Reba Drive. Shane Fulton says his family heard the gunfire. It was like firecrackers. Everybody thought it was just firecrackers. And then, you know, it came in and then there was a bunch of cops out here and canines and everything. Two juveniles had been shot. A 15-year-old was later arrested. Fulton says as a father, he supports the district's decision to cancel classes. Yes, 100% I'm glad. Better safe than sorry, no matter what the situation is. It's better safe than sorry. No one from the district was available to go on camera today, but Superintendent Jim Brady released a statement saying the district will be closed to allow time for local law enforcement agencies to gather information regarding a recent security concern. We are working together to resolve the issue as soon as possible. Students are now hoping it's resolved before this week's homecoming festivities. Hopefully there's homecoming because I already bought my dress. And uh, police are saying tonight the threats originated in the Blanchester area, but they have not elaborated or released any more details. At this hour, we are still waiting to hear back from the superintendent about the status of classes tomorrow. Reporting live tonight in Wilmington, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. Karen, thank you. Also developed.